Country Cover Club is the new partner for Country Sports TV. If you type in Summerall 2, you get a £3 discount. That's it. Hello, welcome to Country Sports TV. Now this is something I do not like to do. I'm, I'm not here to criticise people who make videos for YouTube. But I think that I ought to impart my knowledge to the people in the know what's really going on. What's happened? Now, TGS Outdoors have done a video and they've been testing steel shot. Now, they found that there's a bulge in the barrel, but that's all right, they say. It doesn't matter. They also say that there's scratches in the choke at about 45 degree angle which you can see I got a screenshot of it here which somebody said, posted to me and said Ian what do you think of this so I'm afraid I've got to do a video and I'm not criticising them I just think I ought to point a few things out to them now what we'll do is we'll get you closer to the to the screen so that you can see. I was wondering what I was going to use as a pointer, so we use a gunsmith screwdriver. Right, what you've got is the muzzle. And what they've got is 45 degree angle slots on here. What I'll do is I'll, I'll blow this up in a minute so that you can see it on full screen. But they've got 45 degree angle marks in the choke there they they don't know where these marks came from now I would like to suggest that there's a ridge there of swarth of metal and there's a stop there it comes down it's not exactly round it stops there it also stops there I would suggest that what that is, is what they've done, is they've taken the choke out so that they can use steel shot. They've put a reamer in it and done it by hand and the reamer has caught, causing that ridge. And when they've tried to take the reamer out, they've come out at 45 degrees to twist. And the swarf that's on the reamer, because they haven't cleaned it out, has caused those scratches. That's my interpretation of what I see on that photograph. Now, if there's a bulge in that barrel, that barrel is deemed out of proof. Because it's a material weakness. And if there's any material weakness in the barrel, it's deemed out of proof. The gun cannot be sold. It can't even be given away. Anyway, that's what I think. I think it's poor workmanship. I think it's bad workmanship. Now, when you, when you ream out a choke, you normally ream it out with a long reamer from the breech end. So that you keep it square with the muzzle. Right? This, I believe, has been done from the muzzle. And you use a tapered reamer. And you ream it out. But once you've reamed it out, it's rough. And then what you do is you hone the choke out to the size you want it. And in the old days, we used to lead lap them with grinding paste and go down the grades of grinding powder until it was polished and you'd measure it and you'd polish it out and you'd measure it and if you wanted to move the pattern like you had a side by side or even over and unders and you wanted to regulate the barrel you would take the choke from one side to the other to actually move the pattern on the pattern plate but that is bad workmanship. That's all I can say about that. 
is that it's bad workmanship. It never should have gone out of the workshop. And if that ridge there is holding the water as it goes out, that may have been what caused the bulge.